This is our makeshift low sprinkler system. This is the system control valve. This is our inspector's test drain. So what you do normally is you shut off your system and drain it as you would normally. Hook up your drop master DM12, turn it on, and tell the guys in the field if you don't hear it, don't feel it, don't do it. Two things I can't control. One is working on the wrong system or the wrong zone, and somebody shutting the power off. So you always want to hear that hiss. You want to feel the head being pulled back in, and then you want to gently tip it to the side. When you tip it to the side, the sprinkler head comes out dry and clean. Wow. So there's no mess on your ceiling, nothing on the floor, but best of all, your customers don't smell that black one. Nice. All right, so I'm going to recharge my system here. Okay. And then it's going to be your turn to try and drain the sprinkler head without making a mess. All right. Go it's showtime, Tyson. Here we go. Nice. Now we just put it back. And we're going to fill it back up. Just like I was in here before. Good. It's all ready to go. You hear that about the guy that's kind of black and black and black. You think I've had one or two? Yeah. <laughs> no cheating, no washing your air bubbles go on. That's Schedule 45. You're not going to go in. Yeah. 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 Take the stick ahead and hang it upside down under the gun. Put it in there. Yeah. Put it up there and look up. Oh, hold it. There you go. Because you go too fast, it's going to be fine. Like that. That was a service genius. This is a true vacuum pump. Unlike a shop vac, which is nothing more than a fan on a motor shaft, this is a true vacuum, so because of the spinning action, we discharge a very fine oil mist into our muffler oil catch. I've, I've, I've seen and heard these. Okay. They're amazing. All right. You need to drain this down daily. The one thing I can guarantee you about this machine is if you do not drain the oil out of this muffler every day and it fills up with oil, from that muffler 16 feet back and about 12 foot square, you are going to cover everything in oil. Beautiful. It does a tremendous job of making a mess. So every day, drain the oil out, you won't have any problems. 10 inches of vacuum is what we pull. All right? Don't mess with the relief valve. Leave it where it is. More is not better. Um, it's set at 10 because the gaskets inside of a roof coupling, they can only withstand 15. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. If you exceed that 15, you will actually suck them into the pipe. All right, so keeping it at 10, you're always safe. You're never going to have a problem the way you go. So the normal operating procedure, shut down your system and allow it to drain. This is my little sectional control valve. I'm hooked up to my inspector's test drain. So how much? So when this gets full, is this what you're showing right here? I'm filling that inside that barrel with a pump that's uh, capable of 38 gallons a minute. So as we're sucking the water in, it's automatically discharging like it needs to. Right now. Wherever you want it to go. Where are you discharging? Right now I'm discharging into a coat that's oh, under okay. my table and I'm just recycling so the water. Recycling around. Yeah. But on a job site you can put it out into the landscaping, uh, wherever you have access. Yeah. yeah. Now you can also use it with antifreeze. So if you're working on an antifreeze roof, you can actually use it to suck the antifreeze out and have it discharged into a barrel or a coat. That way you have full containment if you're in a piece of that. Go ahead, give it a try.
you're doing that with the speed of a guy who's taken a couple of bats in black water before. Yeah. I have. I pulled ahead of him. Oh boy. And I forgot about the other one. I was sitting in his fight. That's easy. 